friends. Eddie, let me start with you. I mean, you're a value, you run value funds uh, to a certain extent, so not clear to me exactly what a rate cut would mean, but do you expect we're going to get one soon? You know, it's interesting. I think the timing is very, very interesting now. The interplay between uh, what the Fed is likely to say at the June meeting and then more than six weeks until the, uh, from now until the, uh, the July meeting, which is when the market seems to be expecting the rate cut. Uh, so what will happen related to trade between now and the end of July? If the news is too good on trade, if there were some kind of major breakthrough of the G20, then I think that takes pressure off of the Fed to cut in July. So I think that interplay of the timing of the two major macro uh, drivers of the markets is, uh, is very interesting. All right. And as somebody who runs a large cap value fund, how are you viewing concerns about global growth? What are you seeing in terms of multiples? Would you change anything in the composition of your portfolio? I think the range of outcomes is very wide. Uh, there's obviously some uncertainty about the economy, but uh, we had uh, people from Eaton Vance at a major uh, financial services conference last week, and everything we were hearing from the major banks is there are no signs of credit deterioration in the economy. So all of the negatives on the economy are coming from the survey data rather than real hard economic data. And I think the survey data could reverse itself very quickly if you get either the Fed rate cut or a deal on China trade. Uh, I think that could be the recipe for a very strong upward move in the market. But uh, there are other scenarios where those two drivers do not come to pass, where the economy does deteriorate a little bit. And then you want to be more defensively positioned. So I think it's very hard to make the cyclical versus defensive call right now, especially with dividend, safe dividend stocks trading at such rich valuations. So we're keeping our portfolios balanced. We're looking for new opportunities in industrials and healthcare and those kinds of uh, sectors where there are good quality companies with good balance sheets without making a big bet on the direction of the economy. So, Urian, what does Fed Chair Jay Powell say this week? Well, you know, the, the, the Fed is in a bind, obviously, right? So there's a lot of pressure from the bond market. Bond market's looking for three, four cuts. Uh, odds of a July cut, you know, 80 percent, September 95 percent. There's obviously political pressure to cut, but yet the economy, which clearly is slowing, um, is still in decent shape. And the Fed probably assumes that it is pretty much at a neutral policy right now. Um, but, you know, we're only a couple hundred basis points away from the zero bound. And does the Fed do a couple of an insurance cuts like Greenspan Fed did in 95? Those ended up being successful. Um, or does it hold its powder? And I think uh, the Fed probably will give the market something, but not as much as the market wants. And then, you know, obviously uh, trade f figures in very largely and whether something will happen at the G20. At this point, I think market expectations are, are pretty low. Uh, so the Fed will have some heavy lifting to do at, 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 at this week's FOMC meeting.